Another great feature of mail is called data detectors. When mail recognizes a date, name, address, or phone number, it will allow you to add that information to an iCal event or as an entry in a dress book. In this email, I have a sentence that includes a date and time. As I move my cursor over it, a box surrounds the information. Click this down arrow and it is presented as an iCal event. Notice that this event is for October 4th at 1 p.m., just like the sentence said. For the event name, it takes the subject line of the email. I can click Edit to adjust any of this information. I'll change it to my work calendar, then click Create and the new event is saved in iCal. The same can be done with address book info. At the end of this email, this sender has included a signature. If Steve isn't already in my address book, I can use Mail's data detector feature to add all this information to my address book at once. Just click the down arrow and his name, phone number, and email address are all entered into a new contact. Click the new contact button to save it. This shows how useful an email signature can be. I can create my own email signature in Mail by going to Preferences, Signatures. I'm going to make two signatures here. One for my personal mobile me email address and one for my Gmail account, which will be for business emails. So I'll click the plus button and mail adds my basic information automatically. I'm going to keep the email address here but replace the Mac U with my name. I'll also add my phone number there. Next, I'll make the text in my name a little larger and bold by using Command Plus to change the size and Command B to make it bold. Then I'm going to create a second signature for my business emails. In this one, I'll include my name, phone number, email address, and my website. Once my website address is typed out, I'll highlight it and right click. In this menu, I can add a link to the web page. In this box, I need to enter the full web address. Click OK, and that text is now a clickable link. This feature isn't limited to when you are creating signatures. You can add a link to any text in email by selecting it, right clicking, and going to Add Link. So now I have two signatures. I'm going to assign one signature to my MobileMe account and the other to my Gmail account. If I want the signatures to automatically be entered in any new email I create, I need to choose a signature from this menu. Now, when I compose a new email from either account, the assigned signature will be added. 